Hello everyone, and welcome back to UE5 VP Guru. Today we're back in our day before, day after, zombie MMO game, whatever you want to call it. Before we begin, I just want to say thank you so much to all of those people who've been commenting on the Reddit and on the YouTube and on Facebook and telling me about their experiences with the day before and giving me tips, giving me hints, all that stuff. I appreciate all the comments and the help and the support you're giving this series. It's phenomenal to see how uh, in interested you guys are and how on board you've been. In the last episode, we looked at setting up the functionality for the sprint and the crouch. You'll probably remember that, uh, uh, how bad it looked and how uh, there was no kind of fluidity to it. It was just very much a walk forward or a crouch forward or a sprint forward uh, kind of mechanic. Well, I did say I would flesh it out. And this week I have been working on fleshing out that system and uh, I'm very excited to show you in three, two, one, cue the explosion. Okay, so we're in single player for now, just for testing, it's a little bit easier. But uh, you'll notice that the camera's been changed now so that it always the, the player always faces the way the camera's looking. I thought this would be better for sort of more realism, just so that you can't be looking all around you without um, turning. You'll notice I haven't done the turning in place animations, that's next on my list to do. Uh, but you'll notice that I've changed the animations a little bit. We've now got these lovely left and right uh, running and sort of uh, turning animations. You'll notice I've done this for the crouch as well. Just to give it a bit of realism. It's a little bit jittery, to be honest. I, I need to change up some of the animations. They didn't come through kind of quite how I wanted them to. Um, so I need to re-upload those and get them a little bit smoothed out but nothing that's going to take more than sort of 10 minutes to fix really um to be honest but you can see it's all it's all working pretty nicely um for the most part it's smooth it's just the odd animations is a little bit uh not great but that's just an animation issue so nothing too crazy but i i feel like the movement feels a little bit more fleshed out now and uh just i, I can imagine without the jitteriness <laughs> I can imagine players running around now and it will feel quite cool if everyone was sort of sneaking around like this or they were kind of running away from zombies. It would just feel a little bit more fluid, a bit more kind of realistic than how it was before this. Uh, we obviously have jumping already in here. Now, someone did mention jumping, but it's already working. So I don't, I'm not really going to mess around too much with that, I don't think. Uh, the one thing I do need to do is vaulting. Uh, someone did mention that as well, uh, that they didn't add vaulting in. So I'm going to be looking into that very early on. We'll probably have like a Q or something that you press Q at something and it will vault for you automatically or re interact with it and it will vault you automatically, uh, one or the other. But um, we'll get that working in game pretty soon. Uh, there's another thing I haven't done that probably some people have picked up on crouches. I haven't amended the, the half uh, height of the capsule. Uh, but we'll cover that as well. It, it's not it's not going to affect us too much. If I'm if I'm perfectly honest, I don't think they had many scenarios in the game where you would have to change your half height of the capsule. Don't know. We'll work that out down the line when we mend our game. But that is one of the things I have not done yet, but I need to do. So um, the other thing I wanted to do in this episode, which I have been kind of covering um, in the background is the uh, HUD, um, obviously quite an important part of the game. Uh, I picked up on that in the trailer, that it was a very simple but very effective looking HUD um, that I wanted to recreate. So I have started putting it together. Um, the functionality is not there. We're going to have that done in this episode, of course, as well. But um, this is how it's looking at the moment. Let me open up this so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so I've gone for this kind of uh, circular... Uh, pro like progress bar, if you will, um, that will fill up and re um, reduce in a circle and a radial. And then I've gone for the, what they had for the health, which was just a bog standard um, bar. Um, and once we've got the um, stamina, the hunger, and the thirst within the game, uh, which I am working on as well at the moment, realistically, that should all link up pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that looks like the game. Uh, I know the icons are not quite the same. I've uh, like that one's definitely not the same. I work with what I've got, <laughs> so um, it's just now about getting the sort of style right a little bit more. 
uh, and then getting these bars working in game. The other thing I need to add in here is the ammunition, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment because we can add that in when we start doing the weapons because obviously we'll want to see our ammunition and how much we have. Uh, the other thing as well is the missions. I did pose this question on Reddit and no one answered me back. So if you know uh, about the missions, are they important? What did they, what purpose did they bring to the game? Did it add anything having those missions or did it not really? Um, I just wondered if there was actually like an underlying story past that kind of very lengthy 30 minute intro or was it just there for no reason is what I'm asking. What did they do? Did it progress the story or was it purely just go get this and bring it back? Um, and was that repeated? Because you could almost cut that out. If, if it's not adding anything to a story or an over sense, like um, adding things to the character, um, whether that's the skill tree or anything like that, if it doesn't do anything, there's no point doing it, right? Uh, because what is it adding? So um, if you could answer me that in the comments, what did those quests or missions do for the game because i'm happy to add it but i just don't want to add it if it doesn't add anything to the game so that's kind of my question to you guys at the moment um the next thing i'm going to be doing is adding in the stats now so i'm going to go away and do that and i'll show you guys as soon as it's done okay so after checking out the trailer uh, again uh, and looking at the left hand side of this uh, I like to think I've got it pretty okay. similar now. Um, I'll show you what I've done. I've basically made it a lot smaller. And um, I've put it bottom left, a little bit smaller. The icons look a little bit better now that it's smaller, I think. Um, also, I've fixed the smoothing on the animations now, so they look a lot smoother. Uh, you can crouch now and there's no jitteriness now and it kind of smooths into the animation so it looks even more realistic so uh, a lot better result in my opinion um, it just looks like the, the character's actually walking around I still need to add in the turn in place that'll probably happen within the next video um, and you'll also notice now that if I sprint it uses up the sprint and refills and it's clamped so it won't go higher than the value or lower than zero. Um, and I have, uh, I can run now basically on a time limit. So um, I want to, I will probably establish that a bit further. I feel like um, there's a lot of games that do stamina really realistically. I think stamina gets overlooked in games quite a bit. Um, this is definitely too much. I've put it at 100 and I think that uh, it is too much. Uh, I need to do a check as well that I am um, not moving, um, which I can do that actually while we're on here now. I've put it probably in, I need to put it in two places instead of one. Uh, at the moment, it just checks it when I first press the button that I'm actually moving. Uh, but actually, I feel like I need to do that up here as well before I actually reduce the stamina. Uh, otherwise, this will just keep running uh, without me ever checking that I'm uh, actually moving so if I do that and I put that down here it will check that if it's not if I'm not moving because I'm still holding the button down technically I'm gonna just um, move down to this delay uh, just to check after I've started moving uh, like so so basically what's what it's doing is um, if I just fill this box up so it fills up a bit better so what happens is I press the button to sprint and it's going to check to see if um, I'm moving or not. If I am, it'll activate the sprinting. If I'm not, it's not going to do anything. So that's good. So I'm also going to make sure I have enough stamina. Uh, up here, what it's doing, uh, it's then reducing that stamina amount. Uh, it's then setting my sprint, setting that percentage circle. Uh, it's then waiting for a sec, uh, 0 0.1 seconds to check to see if I'm sprinting still. If I am, it'll come back into here, but it's going to check to see if I'm moving. Because if I'm not moving, I don't want it to reduce my stamina down. So let's just try that again. So if I hold still, you can see it's not it's not regaining stamina because I'm still holding my stamina bar down. Um, but um, 
if I start to run again, so you're gonna to wanna to let go of that sprint button. You're not gonna to wanna to hold it down. Otherwise, you're not gonna regain your stamina, right? So what I could do to fix that is uh, I could have it that um, uh, I call regain stamina here, right? Because I'm still technically stood still. So if we bring that down so it's all level. I don't want it to get too complicated, obviously. But um, if we uh, do that, now, if I run for a second and I hold still, it will go back up for me now, um, and it won't reduce. So you can hold your stamina bars and um, whatever. And But the one thing it won't do is if I hold it while I'm stood still, it won't start the sprint until I press it down again. Um, so if I'm holding sprint down, that's one thing you need to make sure you do is repress that, that. So if you're holding still and you hold the sprint button down, that's one thing that it won't do. You have to repress it. So that's the only the only condition to my stamina system now is that um, you must be moving to, to, to sprint. Um, so that's sprinting done. The player HUD's up now. We'll obviously keep adding to the player HUD uh, as well. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the progress we're making. So... We've got stamina working. It will only work if you're running. Um, you can hold it down while running. And then obviously, of course, it will regain your stamina if you stop running for a second. Uh, the next things we're going to be looking at is things like... Uh, we obviously need to get thirst and hunger working. But I, I don't really want to start putting that into the game until we obviously have... Um, uh, we obviously have a uh, item system in the game, like an inventory. So we can actually start to eat and things like that. Uh, and we also need to take a look at this weather system that they promised and never uh, included. We also need to do vaulting. Uh, if there's anything else you guys can think of uh, while I'm doing this uh, that you would like to see kind of worked out, fleshed out, improved, fixed, any of that sort of stuff, please let me know. Uh, I will be more than happy to take a look at it. Um, and of course, we need to fix health as well. That's one thing I just thought about. But uh, as far as like the core movements uh, done, I feel like we, we kind of have that down. We have the player HUD up and running now. So we kind of had the basics. We just need to now start looking at the different avenues of code uh, to get them working in the game. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, it's free to do. If you want to change your mind down the line, leave a little like, leave a little comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care. Bye.